Hey guys, Alex Mzuken here from Mr. Build It. Buying people gifts is one of the hardest things in the world. You don't know if they like it, if they have it, or they can just go buy it. So I figured, why not make them something? So I came up with the five top DIY gift giving projects. So before we get into them, let's go find a little bit more inspiring place. Hey, that looks inspiring enough. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Let's go. really excited about this one because I've never tried anything like this before. Put a coffee cup here and a V60 pour over coffee stand on top and voila, makes for a fantastic industrial style coffee pour over stand. So let me show you how I made it. There's a lot of cool tricks I wanna show you. Let's go. For this next project, we're really only gonna need about two types of materials. One is a five inch by 16 inches pieces of steel. It's roughly between 10 and 11 gauge, uh, one eighth inch, if you will. And then we're gonna need some scrap wood, and like always, I have some walnut laying around. So what I'm gonna do is trim this piece of walnut to be about seven inches long and five inches wide, and then we're gonna try to blend it with this stand. So let's get to it. So we finally got the overall shape of our pour over coffee stand. These ended up being 67 degrees. Came out good. I'm more proud of this angle here than that. Uh, this one is a little bit more work. Uh, the guys were right. If you do scorch it a little bit uh, with a, an angle grinder, it does make it a whole lot easier to bend. Remember, if you're using 10, 11 gauge steel, that 1 8 inch, uh, you do want to kind of cut not a third of the way, but maybe a little bit more, like half an inch. And I think that's why I'm so proud of this angle. Now that that's all set and done, um, we're gonna use our piece that goes right in here, um, and it's nice and flush. And what we're gonna do with this wood piece is we're gonna put it a round over edge on it as well, so it just overall looks really slick and smooth. Then we're gonna put some epoxy and glue it down. over coffee stand ready the woods on the bevel metal is perfect um, everything's secure being sanded and ready to go now we're just gonna bore out the hole the coffee part sits on top so we're gonna come up to our drill press we're gonna use our two and a half inch bimetal hole saw to cut out a nice clean hole for the v60 pour over coffee thing to sit in so let's do it For the second project, you need a little bit more of a scrap wood surface area to work with. And so we came up with the salad hands, but I'm calling it the salad claws. And that's pretty great because these are walnut scrap pieces that we had laying around in the workshop from a previous project. And essentially, they're covered in oil and wax, and you can just use it to scoop the salad during a dinner party. So let me show you how I did it. Let's go. So when making the salad serving claws, we're basically gonna take a couple pieces of scrap wood, the same size, we're gonna tape it all together, grab our pencil and draw and sketch out the exact shape of the claws that we wanna go with. This is actually one of the funnest parts because you kinda let your imagination go wherever it wants to go. And then we're gonna go to our bandsaw, use a 3 16 with a four tooth per inch 
uh, blade, and then we're just gonna scroll it all out. So let's try it. We're gonna bring it over to our benchtop sander and clean up any of the saw marks that were left over. And then after that, we're gonna use a little bit of hand sanding to clean up all the grooves. So because I space these claws about at least half an inch away, I'm able to use my 1 8 round over bit and kind of clean up the grooves to make it nice and smooth. So that'll be really good. So let's take it to our router and clean them all up. You saw we put about a 30 degree miter on the claws and it's cool because I think it gives you that cool claw, bear claw uh, feature to it. Um, everything send it down as you saw to 220 grit. It's all ready to go. What we're gonna do next, cover everything else with oil and wax. That way it's uh, um, you know easy to uh, and safe to eat off. One of the easiest projects you can do is a keychain phone holder. And all it takes is a little piece of scrap wood that you can take like this, and it's basically a bow tie that you can fashion your phone to sit like this or like that. Super easy, you don't need much to do it. So let me show you the video, let's go. So for the bow tie phone stand keychain, we're gonna use some of the remainder of the scrap wood that we have. We're gonna freehand basically a general shape of a typical bow tie. And then once that's traced out, we're gonna go back to our bandsaw and we're gonna try to carefully cut it out and then we'll go from there. So here's the bow tie. I like the shape. It, it overall came out really, really good. This is a little slot for the cell phone to stand in, whether it's upright or sideways. I enjoy these little bevels that I put in here. I think I'm gonna clean them up a little bit better. And then we're just gonna take it to our bench top sander, clean it up nice and pretty, get rid of all the markings, and then clean up the edges. And uh, we'll be ready to put the little part in here to screw it in to actually add it to a keychain, along with the finish, of course. This next project is more complicated, but it's kind of fun to do. This is basically a bandsaw box style coasters. And everything is made out of one big block of scrap wood that I had, it was maple. And so they all just kind of come out and pop in. And it's all made of one big block that everything's cut out. And these are just painted over and rounded over. They make for a great present. So let me show you how I did it. Coasters, I basically grabbed leftover maple scrap wood around the house, I glued everything together and I let it sit overnight. Once it's all dried and cured, I took all the clamps off and then I had this hot mess of a block. 
I later put it on my bandsaw and cleaned everything up into a nice, pretty big block of wood. Now my coasters, I want them to be overall four and a half inches wide, so that's gonna be my external radius. Now remember, I'm gonna create a little caddy for them to sit in. It's almost gonna be the same method as building a bandsaw box. So I'm gonna create an external radius of about four and a half inches, and then an internal radius of about three and a half inches, leaving the external radius to be about three, about half an inch in thickness completely around. So let's go ahead and uh, create our stencil, cut out the outside, and then we'll talk from there. So I know we just did a lot of things, so let's cover everything that we did. That way we're not missing anything. So when we took our circle, overall circle, and we cut it in our bandsaw box, and we cut the inner part out, that would be our coasters, we took them to the bandsaw, we created a little jig. Um, there's other sleds that you can make that are way better. I just didn't have time to make them. And then we sliced a few pieces off to create our coasters. Then, the backing that we cut off of our overall circle, we glued it back on. So that's drying. Once that's done, we're gonna put it on our bench top sander, clean it up so it'll look flush. It'll be the base of the holder for the coasters. Now the coasters themselves are cut out, rounded over, and I sanded them. Now keep in mind, you saw that they had these holes going through them, part of that jig um, holding them on the bandsaw. I've uh, wood putted them all up, and then I taped off the parts that did not have the holes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this part white and this is gonna be the natural color. So they're all taped up, we're gonna go use our paint and we're gonna put a couple coats on and they'll be done. very very last gift giving idea we have a cheese cutting board and this really doesn't need much explanation it takes a general principle ideas as you've seen in the all the glue ups the bantha boxes and all that stuff you take a couple of scrap pieces of wood you glue them all together you send it through your planer and then put them on a bantha and cut out your shape use a round over bit and get ready a nice soft edge and voila you're ready to give this as a gift well, that's it for me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit me with a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you want to try one of these projects. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I put out a video every single Friday, and I don't want you to miss a single one. Hope these uh, little tips helped you. Tune in out this week. We'll see you next Friday. See ya.